Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial we are going to discuss about a spring expression language. Uh, in general, most of the beans declared for dependency injection using a spring are static and statically defined. However, in certain advanced situations there may be a requirement to perform dependency injection dynamically at runtime. Such dynamic dependency injection is possible in a spring using a spring expression language. In short cut, a spring expression language is also expressed as SPEL. Using a spring expression language, we can uh, refer to other beans by ID attribute. Uh, spring expression language is also used to refer the properties and invoking methods defined in the other, other beans. Uh, you can also perform to refer the static constants and invoking static methods available in any class. You can perform mathematical operations on values as well. Uh, a spring expression language is also used to perform relational and logical operations or kind of some comparison like less than greater than lot of signs are logical operations you can perform. Uh, perform regular expression uh, matching as well. Suppose if you want to uh, deal with the, some regular expression which is available in Java, sometimes if you want to validate email ID and all, then those kind of operation you can perform using a spring expression language. And finally, uh, a spring expression language is used to accessing collection, like uh, you have a list, set, map, properties, etc. The key elements of syntax of a spring expression languages are, language are all spring expressions should be declared inside a dollar curly brace open and close meaning that you can write express uh, you can uh, access any uh, properties or you can call any methods and second way is has curly bracket open and close meaning that you can access any properties or method any bin can be directly accessed using the id attribute of a bin, of the bin members and methods of a bin are accessed using the dot notation this is similar to the way members and methods are accessed in the java language a static class is referred by the using t and you will have to write a parenthesis something like that we'll see practical example a standard mathematical operations such as addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus of modulus division etc are used on the numerical properties similar to java language a standard relational operators such as less than less than equal to equal to greater than equal to greater than etc similar to the java language can be used Logical operations such as AND or NOT may be used in the Spring Express language. Matching with regular expression is done using the matches keyword. So if you want to validate email ID then uh, we have to use matches keyword. Regular expression syntax is similar to the corresponding syntax in the Java language. Individual elements within the list are accessed by the notation square bracket notation. Suppose if you want to uh, access some individual invent in, in set or list then we may use this square bracket. Filter operations on the elements in a list are performed using period question mark and square bracket notations. If you want to filter some elements uh, from set or list then we can use this notation. Projection of elements in the list is performed using period exclamation and square bracket notations individual elements within the map are accessed by the referring to the corresponding key using square bracket notation so if you want to retrieve some elements from map using its key then in a square bracket you need to pass the key of the map then you will get the corresponding value so this is just a high level insight on the spring expression language. Next uh, 
in next series of video tutorial i am going to uh, do some practical example on spel so see you there till that happy learning